Hello, welcome back. I was thinking, what's that old song? Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, I believe, in the early 70s or the late, probably the early 70s. Uh-oh, I think I skipped. Uh, I may have. <laughs> I ended yesterday talking about, oh, yeah, I, I ended yesterday talking about I was starting the Blake Snyder thing. And so what I did, so I didn't have to actually record myself doing it because it's not my own thing. I just literally opened the cat, cat in the hat, <laughs> save the cat, the strikes back. Um, yeah, save the cat strikes back. And I went in and I wrote down all of the 15 sort of beat points, plot points, whatever you want to call them. And then he has a chapter about you know, one year stories in trouble, or I forgot what it's called. I've got the book right here, but no sense in opening it. Um, and so he, he asks a bunch of questions, or I think about three questions for each of these um, parts to see if your script is headed in the right direction or your story is headed in the right direction. So if you have the book, which I super highly recommend, um, I would, I wouldn't say stop watching this and go read it, but if you haven't already read it, you should definitely read it once or twice or a hundred times. Um, so I wrote those down to see if this current version of the story that I'm thinking of, is it, is it really going to work? And so what I'm going to do here, I think is going and kind of start to answer some of these questions. Um, so it doesn't really take much commentating because you can see the beats of the story and you can see his questions and you can see the answers that I'm giving. And I've never done this for any of other, other scripts. And I don't know if that's because even though I'd read this chapter, I had never really taken it to heart or maybe my other scripts weren't in <laughs> this much of no, no, or I should say La La Land, Neverland, where I just wasn't really sure what I wanted to to write. Again, because I am such a story and structure guy as opposed to character driven guy. Um, I usually don't have a trouble telling a story, but sometimes when you get to the end of it, it's like, what is what exactly is the story I'm telling? Not literally, what's the story I'm telling? But as he has their theme stated, um, you know, what what is the story about? And one thing I will say in defense of his book, not that it needs defending, is a lot of people go, oh, all he's just about is hitting the plot points and structure and putting, you know, the setup on page something and the debate on page something else. And the, he, you know, he just tries to make it a very antiseptic thing and whatever. But when you, especially in the, the Strikes Back book, he gets into some deep stuff about the themes and the, the thesis and the antithesis and marrying the two together and having the beef story support the main story and come to the conclusions. And he's got a couple of diagrams in there that, uh, I mean, they're crazy uh, involved. And when I look at those, it's usually pretty daunting. And I say, well, you know, <laughs> That's a lot of work. And I'm sure that's what a lot of writers think when they read his book or read other people's books. And it's like, I'm just going to write my script. And, you know, those rules might apply to other people, but they don't apply to this story because it's so awesome. And then you read 99% of the scripts that are out there and you can see that they're no good. I would definitely put the vast majority of mine in there. I don't know about no good, but certainly not good enough to invest millions of dollars making. I know I've had that commentary before also about people being all grumpy that, oh, why didn't they buy my script? And it's like, well, if you had $10 million, how much of it would you invest in your own movie? That is a very telling. Well, the question isn't telling, but the answer that people would give is very telling because I would guess, I mean, if I had 
I'll play it on myself. If I had a billion dollars, I would certainly invest 10 million or 20 or 30 million in one of my movies because that's like one whatever, a percent or 2% or 3% of my income. If I had $100,000 in the bank, would I invest 50000 or 75000 in my own movie? Yikes, you would really have to like it, and your wife would too, <laughs> or your husband, because that is 50% of your savings. So it's all relative, but the point is, if you're not, I mean, yes, we've all invested a lot of time in writing the script and some writers will say, well, that's all the investment I need is my time and my expertise and creativity and all that, which you can see is fine and you get paid for it if you sell your script. But if you're going to make it yourself, oh, <laughs> Blender is not responding. How do you like my background? Whoops, I guess the day has come to an end. Um, so to finish that thought, if you don't believe in your script enough to put a little bit of money into it or even to make it yourself like I've done, of course, the cash outlay was extremely small, then you're really in no position to whine when other people won't buy it. So day 14 was a pretty quick day. I don't know if you paid any attention to what I was writing, what I was saying. But tomorrow, as I alluded to, is a very special day because I'm going to be on camera. Excitement reigns. Bye-bye.